For shapes that you want to cut out, which are vectors, set the stroke color to black and the width to 0.001 inches. Set the fill to none. For shapes that you want to engrave, which are rasters, you can leave the line width at the default 0.01 inches. If you're having a hard time seeing your shape, change the display settings to outline. Save your file as a PDF. Welcome to Hatch! Here's the laser cutter station, which includes a laptop, the laser cutter, a filter, and air blade pump. The list of acceptable materials, along with their cutting and engraving settings, is attached to the side of the laser cutter. The yellow pump needs to move down into the green Good Filter section. Otherwise, please ask us to change the filter. Plug in the air blade pump. Press the switch to turn on the machine. You have to adjust the bed height for different materials. The drop down spring should touch the surface without any tension. Press the focus button, then use the up and down arrow buttons to change the table height. Pressing the pointer button will show you where the current start point is, which corresponds with the top left corner of your file by default. To change the position manually, press the XY OFF button and gently move the belts. Press the OK button when you're happy with the starting point. Open your PDF in Adobe Reader and go to File, Print. Make sure that the file size is correct and put in the settings for your material. Open the Epilogue Job Manager and your print job should be at the top of the queue. Double click on it to edit the settings if needed. And use the preview function to check your file placement. Make sure that the raster and vector lines are correct, and remember to check combined if your project includes both types of cuts. Hit go to start.